Hi, I'm Bob. And I'm Margo. Welcome to our home. Our decision to go to solar was always there. When we built this home, um, we built it with certain goals in mind and solar was always one of those goals. It was something we knew with where we live and how much we knew we could generate with uh, solar energy. We knew it was going to be in the cards. When we were looking into this, we didn't know enough about, uh, about the details and I decided not to be a researcher but to consult experts and have them tell me what suit the house and what suit, suited the environment outside as well. They had all the time in the world to go over everything with us. The initial visit was great. Uh, we came away knowing all our options and could make our decision weeks later. It was great. We had always thought we would do the feedback into the grid system, um, into back into the hydro, but we can't do it because of where we are. There's not enough ampage on our road to, to feed back into the grid. So that's where Grid Zero came into play, and it was the perfect answer. Halliburton Solar and Wind helped us sort of give us that as an option, which we didn't even know existed. We were very frustrated with the process of applying to hydro because we kept getting turned down, and then the bottom line was not enough ampage, so it's like, now what? And they, they gave us the what. It was a great option for us. Given that it was such a large uh, system and uh, they're not next door, uh, it went really smoothly. We, we were always told every piece of the way what was happening and, and uh, I've learned a ton and that's because they took the time to teach us. For me it was fantastic because now I have a much better grasp on managing it as, you know, as we're on our own now. We feel it's not a done deal once you've done it, uh, it's an ongoing arrangement and uh, uh, we feel we can call any time because we do get some power outages here of course we're getting we're in that zone of the ice storms and uh, we won't necessarily know that there's a power outage so we had to go and check certain lights that we knew were on the grid make sure that they were on or off to establish because we didn't know power but like, it's a power out <laughs> for me the, the most profound use of the solar has been the electric car to, to drive the electric car and, and think that we're driving this car which is powered on solar. That's, so, so you know, you really feel like, okay, <laughs> I am I'm really making a difference here because I am using the solar to power a vehicle. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I would recommend Halliburton Solar and Wind for the efficiency of the service, but also for the education piece. You'd be surprised at the options you have. That's solar and wind, by the way. You know, there, that there's, uh, it's not this or that. Uh, there's multiple options in terms of the amount that you draw, in terms of the kind of installation you put in. Uh, so you can find that which is perfect for you. You know, it is, it's, it's a great feeling. It being part of something, being part of a uh, on the curve, you know, to, to good solutions to uh, large global issues. I, mean, I used to be very fussy about uh, when we ran the washing machine and the, and the dryer, or if we ran it at all. Um, now I don't care. I'm independent of, <laughs> we do I'm independent of, uh, of, of that uh, price scaling, I guess. And uh, that's, that's good. I can do laundry anytime I want. <laughs> From Margot and I, this is our happy Grid Zero story.